All right, Kyrie Irving is basically leading the charge to cancel the NBA season, rather restart it. Um, I'm paraphrasing here, and I put the screenshot on the screen. They basically said it's bad optics for the NBA to compromise predominantly the black man for the sole purpose of, or for the purposes of, you know, basically entertaining the masses and basically bring a relief to the NBA financial, you know, uh, situation, man. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And he ain't the only one. Carmelo Anthony, like, F that. I mean, he ain't doing it. It ain't worth it. You know, a lot of dudes don't want to leave their significant other. They don't want to leave their kids in this bubble. And their family can't visit them until um, the first round or second round of the playoffs. So, like I said, everything they saying... I've been sick. But hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Kyrie is supposed to have a conference call with over 200, with around 200 players about, you know, basically not wanting to restart the league year. Okay, remember LeBron didn't want to restart it until the NBA called and told him to say, hey man, we need you to get behind it. And then when they started wanting to recoup that money, and they was going to take their money back. So the sole purpose of this is not to entertain the masses to begin with. The sole purpose of this is to, to put money in the NBA pocket. And guess what? They are willing to sacrifice black lives. And everybody's saying black lives matter. But 80, 90% of the league is black players. They're willing to sacrifice those players' lives to uh, to relieve, to relieve bring relief to their financial situation. Like I said, everybody's saying, oh, if you're not a real fan, if you don't want to see bad, at the end of the day, I want to see a quality, I want to see a quality product on the court they talking about if you test positive for the COVID-19 that we just gonna replace you with a replacement player nobody want to see no replacement players we just gonna replace you with a what if Giannis get it what if LeBron get it you know what I'm saying what if Damian get it you know what I'm saying that's the whole thing and also you you keeping these players in their bubble they want to enjoy their summer and the financial burden that the NBA is putting that's that's come upon them is just not from you know uh the coronavirus remember they lost a whole bunch of money in china as well and china said they still not doing this but you know people get mad at Kyrie, but Kyrie is a straight shooter that's why Kyrie don't get along with a lot of people in the league you know he a little he weird but Kyrie, Kyrie is a real one he gonna tell you the truth so it, somebody got to bring up cause for concern you just can't go along with the consistency plan and just say it's good, and then when these things start to come up, the, the base is not covered. So they need somebody to kind of give some resistance to this plan so they can cover their bases. You know, but me personally, I don't, I don't want to see this shit start, man, unless everything is going to be right. Players going to be in shape. Players going to be in rhythm. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be protected. And then what you got to worry about in the next three or four weeks, they got to test over what? A thousand people and keep testing them like, they they sacrificing two seasons for one. I mean, one season for two. Just cut y'all losses on this season. And start your, this same plan started for next season. As far as testing on the road, as far as travel, you know, all this shit. But Kyrie right and the players right to have have a uh have a you know have a uh, have a gripe about it. Cause it's not to entertain, it's all about money. All these owners got money. This little loss the owners taking is nothing, bro. They'll make this money back in no time. Steve Ballmer ain't sweating it. Mark Cuban ain't sweating it. None of these other owners are sweating it. So that's just my my opinion. But with Kyrie, you know, bringing up cause for concern, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. A lot of players not gonna play. Hey, if you want to just boil it down to it, man. Hey, man, just had the Lakers, Clippers, the Bucks, in the Heat. In, in, in the Rockets and then whoever else in the East, the Philadelphia 76ers, Toronto and the Bucks, just make it a 16 champ world championship playoff game. That's it. That way it cuts it cuts it cuts it down to who gonna get who gonna who how many people can get sick off the coronavirus. That's what I would do. Cause we know in reality, we know in reality only two or three or four teams actually got a chance to win a championship. But it's a lot, and people, and, 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 and people that say, "Oh, you're not a fan if you don't want to see the NBA come back," you know, they don't, 
they really don't know what the hell they talk about, to be honest. They don't. Because at the end of the day, what if LeBron get the corona, you know, or, or Kuzma get the corona? There's going to be a bunch of built-in excuses. Then you got to worry about, do players want to play defense? Do they want to touch each other? What if this ref gets sick? It's just it's too much going on with it, man. And it's all about money. It's not about entertaining y'all. It's all about TV money and money, 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 money. So, at the end of the day, I ain't knocking Kyrie, man. Somebody else got somebody got to be the voice of reason. Somebody got to step it up. Somebody got to keep it real. And somebody got to show holes in their contingency plan. And a lot of players don't want to be in that bubble. People talk. I heard somebody in the comment section say, "Oh, players can't go two months without sex. You crazy as hell." You crazy little motherfucker, man. You sound, who, who said that? You sound like a virgin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sound, oh, they can't go two months without women. Like, please, man. Some of these dudes on the road getting skins on the regular. You feel what I'm saying? But let me know what you guys think about Kyrie basically, you know, revolting against the NBA plan. He got 200 players with him. You know what I'm saying? But don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, cry, response, your video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash out, PayPal, and description. Check out our NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this. NBA 101 playlist for our live stream NBA videos. One time for the one time we go.